Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator. First of all, let's bring in our tablet by the magic of editing. I know I always say that, but it's fun. I have fun editing. Today we're going to talk a, a little bit more about underlay and lettering. So let's get some letters up here. Let's go here. I'm going to turn off my touch on my machine so I don't accidentally hit something. Let's go to lettering and let's go here and it brings up my on-screen keyboard. All right, let's make this in caps and let's do D M E and we'll hit enter and we'll get rid of that keyboard because we don't need it. So what can we do with this lettering? Let's first of all make it a little bit bigger so we can see not too big that we get some split stitches. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's maybe make it uh, 200 so we can see. We don't have any split stitches or empty spaces here, so I'm thinking that's pretty good. Now, there's a few settings that you can do regarding underlay. If you look at this one, Hatch will set the underlay depending on the size of your lettering. So for this one, let's go into, sorry, stitching. Underlay one, we've got an edge run. Now we can make this a bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better. We've got an edge run at a stitch length of two millimeters and the margin from edge. So the edge run, so we've got um, zigzag and we've got an edge run here. So let's, uh, I guess we're gonna have to zoom in just a little bit more. How about 500? There, and now we can see it. So you can see, let's deselect it. You can see the zigzags and you can see the edge run. It's right up close. If you wanted to change that, because you can change your underlay. You don't have to stick with what Hatch tells you to do. It's a good idea until you, know, you want to make your own changes. But right here, margin from edge, and that's applicable for this. You can go wide and see how it changed. It's probably a little hard to see. I might have to zoom in a little bit more when I'm editing. Or you can change it to medium. Um, and it's this line close to the edge. Shall we try zooming in? Let's just see. Uh, the next one is a thousand, so we don't really want to do that. Um, but you can see it's this line. It's this line here, and you can see how it moves. Or you can go back to normal, and it puts it really close to the edge. Now, the edge run under underlay is really good because it helps gives a nice sharp edge to your lettering. But if you want to change it, that's how to do it really quickly. You can also make quick changes with the zigzag underlay as well. It's right here, margin from edge. So you can go wide, and it's really hard to see, but you can see the zigzags here. They are far away uh, from the edge. You can go medium, which kind of puts it a little bit further away, or you can go normal. And that's almost, almost touching, pretty close to touching your edge underlay. So that's how you can quickly change underlay settings in uh, for lettering here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Hopefully that's a quick tip that can get you guys moving on what you need to do. It's really neat, and if you didn't know what all that meant, that is what it means. You can also change the stitch length, by the way. I don't know if everybody saw that. Um, and stitch spacing on the uh, zigzag underlay. So you can really, Hatch allows you to really change just about everything that you need to. But that's a nice quick tip. So happy digitizing, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video.